in answer to this question, whose is it? The possessive pronoun is often used in response. So for myself, if the question is asked, whose is it? I can say, it's mine. If the thing belongs to you, then I would say it's yours. For a man, it's his. For a woman, it's hers. And for a thing, which is possible but not likely, it's it's. These are singular. For the plural, it's ours. So this possessive pronoun is used for these two possessive pronouns. For the plural of yours, it stays the same. It's yours. And the plural form for these three pronouns is theirs. It's theirs. So this is all you need in answering the question, whose is it? It's mine, it's yours. It's his, it's hers, it's its, although this is hard to use. It's ours, it's yours, it's theirs. If we change this to the plural, whose are they? So this would be plural things. You just change this pronoun and the verb be attached as a contraction to there. T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. They're mine. They're yours. They're his or hers or its. They're ours. They're yours. And this does happen sometimes when you hear these two words together. They're theirs. So this is a, a plural, whatever thing it is, two or three or four things. And then this is the possessive pronoun, theirs, their, theirs. Again, whose are they? These are plural things. They're mine, they're yours. They're his for a man, they're hers for a woman, they're its. They're ours, they're yours, or they're theirs.